This is a night lizard. And contrary to their name, they are diurnal. They may come out in the evening times when the temperatures get really hot, but they're a diurnal lizard. They come out during the day. They have lidless eyes, and they have that really pretty kind of gold on top of their head. Um, this is a very secretive lizard. Not a lot's really known about them. They live underneath the um, yucca and Joshua tree um, limbs and branches that have fallen off. And they'll live in the dead material and pretty much just feed on insects. Uh, a lot of times they will, when a predator's coming around, they'll drop their tail right away. Um, this guy ended up not doing that. I ran into a couple other ones that I ended up losing that did drop their tail. Um, this is an adult. This is pretty much fully grown. He's, he's decent size. The other ones that I've seen were a lot smaller than this. They'll typically grow to about three to six inches or so from snout to tail. Again, this is the night lizard. All right, you hear that? I saw his tail, and I know it's a Mojave. This is uh, arguably the most deadly rattlesnake in the entire United States. 16 times more venomous than the Sidewinder. These guys will typically grow to between 2 and 4 foot in length. And he's got his eyes on me the entire time. He's not going to have his eyes turned away from me, his head turned away. It's just not going to happen. These rattlesnakes are notorious for standing their ground. They're not going to look for trouble. But they're not going to back away from it either. They're primarily nocturnal, and this is uh, right around evening time, so they're just now starting to come out. They will feed on primarily rodents, but will also occasionally eat birds' eggs and birds and lizards and other snakes. They're pretty much preyed upon by owls and hawks and foxes and other snakes, king snakes. He just wants to get away. He wants to go back to his bush, which that's good. These uh, snakes, just like all the other rattlesnakes, give live birth. They're uh, in the pit viper family, which means that they've got heat sensing pits on the bottom, bottom of their nose, which can uh, detect heat with an accuracy of up to a half a degree. Very, very accurate. You can uh, tell the difference between them and the diamondbacks by the green tint that they have and by um, their tail. They've got more white than they do black on their tail. Now I have to say, this is, in my opinion, the deadliest rattlesnake in the U.S. It's not uncommon to need 50 to 100 vials of anti-venom if bitten by this snake. They've got a, a special characteristic in the fact that their venom type is uh, a, a neurotoxic venom that basically attacks the nerves. Um, you'll end up having heart problems, your, uh, um, you start muscle contracting, start losing your vision. They, uh, they've got a special toxin that is named the Mojave toxin. They've also got 
the Mojave Red, which is more common in Arizona, that has a hemotoxic venom, which attacks the blood cells. Um, and they occasionally, this uh, species, the Mojave Rattlesnake, can actually have both hemotoxic and neurotoxic venom. This snake, if it, if you get tagged by this snake, I've been told you've got an hour and you're done. So I know it might look like, you know, I'm close to the snake, but I'm very, very far away from the snake. They've got a two-thirds distance that they can strike. This is snakes probably about two foot in length. So they can attack about a foot and a half or so. And I'm probably three or four foot away from this snake. And he hasn't shown any aggression towards me at all. He just wants to get to the bush. And that's good. That's what I want. See that green tent, how pretty it is? You can definitely see the green there. Alright, so this is the Red Racer, otherwise known as the Coach Whip. This is a very, very fast snake. It's the fastest snake in the desert, over 7 miles an hour potentially. Very, very fast snake. They also are a very mean snake. They, well, can be mean, I, should, I, I suppose. Um, they've basically got three stages. First stage is they'll bite you, and that's what he did on me. I don't know if you can see, but I got a little bit of blood on my on my hand. But that's okay, totally worth it. The next st stage after biting, if that doesn't work, is to basically um, put out musk out of their cloaca and basically stink. And if that doesn't work, their last stage is they'll basically play dead. Now this one hasn't played dead, um, stunk a little bit, and definitely bit. Um, so definitely did two of the three stages. This snake will feed on lizards, other snakes, mice, birds, birds' eggs, um, potentially bats if they uh, happen to maybe go inside of a cave or, or, or something like that, but potentially can get some bats, but mostly will be on, on lizards and uh, mice. The, the red racer can be a very, very big snake. This, this snake, um, I don't know, what do you think, Josh? Two foot? Yeah. Two, two, two to three foot long. Um, but they can get anywhere between, as a full, full adult, anywhere between three foot to eight foot, um, even potentially nine foot. Um, but their, their average size is anywhere around five, six foot. So this is a younger one. Very, very cool eyes, diurnal eyes. This is a diurnal snake, comes out during the day and you can tell that from the eyes. Um, it's a colubrid species, a, a restrictor. Um, which also means that it lays eggs. Th this snake, this uh, red racer, is very good at climbing. Um, very, very good climbers. A lot of times you'll actually see them in the bushes and they'll kind of be peering out and looking for things and they can actually uh, chase it and, and run down or slither down, whatever you want to call it. Um, some of the faster lizards around here, whether it's a whip tail um, or zebra tails, they can actually chase them down. Very, very fast snake. I'll show you where we got this snake was over here in the bushes. We got him out here in the bushes and, the, and I was actually down a ways and heard some birds squawking and you know that that's a big tale is you got to pay attention to the wildlife if you hear if you hear stuff pay attention to it so i heard these birds squawking and it kind of put a red flag you know hey maybe there's a snake nearby birds will let you know that sure enough i come by one of the bushes and i kind of hear something in the bush and i look in there and then i see him in there um he ended up going down this hole which is usually a bad thing once they go down the holes they're gone but luckily for us, the hole was not very deep, and he wanted to come out, and he came out and struck at me and bit me, but I was able to get him anyway. So, very, very cool. This snake was definitely on my list of, of things to catch out here. So, very, very awesome. I'm, I'm totally stoked we were able to get this guy. We're going to release him and see how fast he goes. If he goes into a bush or actually races away. Alright, whenever you want, Josh.